Today, we're going to talk about the environmental benefits of the Edison Motors logging truck. Yeah, that's one of the things I want to talk about is one of the main goals of all this is going electric, is reducing emissions. Now, obviously, our truck is diesel electric, and I believe there's certain advantages of the diesel electric moving into the future. One of the main advantages being is that it's a transitional thing. The charging infrastructure isn't there. If we want electric, we need to transition to fully electric. That doesn't mean just jump to fully electric. It means moving there. Now, there's certain benefits of the diesel electric that are huge for the environment. Number one, it's a fuel savings. As we've shown in our prototype, we're seeing a 50-75% reduction in fuel consumption on vocational trucks. Right there, you're already taking 75% of the emissions away. But those emissions that are coming out are actually cleaner due to the way the generator operates. Because it's not lugging down, the turbo's not spooling down, mixing up the fuel air ratio, you get really nice combustion, which results in cleaner emissions from that peak RPM efficiency of the diesel motor running as a generator, which means things like your EGR, your DPF, that particulate filter, uh, the diesel exhaust fluid, that entire system can clean that a lot better. It's running hotter, it's working under load constantly, it's, so therefore it's easier to scrub those emissions in those after treatment systems. You're getting less clogging up of filters, you're getting cleaner emissions coming out, and you're also getting a massive reduction in the fuel consumption. What would be some external benefits or external things that people don't realize with it? Okay, one of the things what people talking about is the impact of, they're looking at tailpipe emissions. That's one of the big things they talk about, the reduction of tailpipe emissions. But unfortunately for the environment, you can't just look at the tailpipe emissions as the only goal. If we hit zero tailpipe emissions, we hit our goal, the, the planet saved. It's not. It's, we're all in this in a global environment and other things impact other things. A reduction of tailpipe emissions should absolutely be a prime goal. But you have to look at other things like the lithium ion battery mining is environmentally damaging. By going diesel electric, it's a halfway point between, because we can lower the size of that battery from a megawatt lithium battery to 250 kilowatt hours of battery. So it's a... 25% reduction in the size. That's, you know, four times less mining that needs to go in, four times less leachate ponds, four times less environmental impact of the mining operations on it. So if we can get a 75% reduction in fuel, have those emissions come out cleaner and result in less mining to build the truck, and then those batteries running in the diesel electric Instead of a five-year lifespan, you're looking at a 10, 15-year lifespan. So you're getting longer time out of those batteries, which further multiplies the amount of reduction in mining that you need to do to maintain those batteries. So fewer emissions. It's not zero tailpipe emissions, but it's getting us there. As battery technology improves, the size gets smaller, we can mine and build them better. Then we can start making that diesel motor smaller and smaller. Maybe instead of a 9 liter, you get a 6 liter or a 4 liter. Or maybe you just have a little 2 liter generator on by as an emergency backup in the future. But that's the way to transition to fully electric. Rather than just saying, hey, we need to move to electric with the technology we have now, we can ease in there, reduce tailpipe emissions. You see every graph and they show by 2030, 2040, we want to see a decrease in emissions. But that doesn't mean like right now, all the trucks need to be fully electric. It's a decrease in emissions over time. That's the goal. Diesel electric allows us to meet that decrease in emissions. A problem with all those trucks is that without the infrastructure there, or with if you just went fully electric now, which they want us to do, that the power grid it would not that would not be a sustainable method. Oh God, no! The power grid. Man, you would murder that power grid. So let's just take logging trucks in BC. Because right now we're building the first truck as a logging truck. So there's 5,000 logging trucks in BC. Now a logging truck, because we're pulling super B weight in the mountains, needs about 2.5 megawatts of power estimated per day. Now the electric Tesla Semi only has a 1 megawatt. So that's 2.5 times the power of the biggest electric semi-truck battery on the market. Which means you have to stop... 
two and a half times every day to recharge that battery, which can take hours, isn't feasible for a logging truck. We're not going to get there fully electric. Now we run a 350 kilowatt hour generator in, very, in a very fuel efficient motor, which means that that generator only needs to run six hours a day to produce that amount of power that the truck needs to get it through its full shift. It, you can see that instead of, we're not gonna get there with the electric, with the battery technology we have right now, which means that those logging trucks are gonna stay diesel, which means that there's no reduction. The gradual reduction makes sense. And then if you're just talking about charging, which is, sorry, the question you asked officially before I got off on my tangent. No, that's fine. Is the grid infrastructure, 5,000 logging trucks. Let's just do the math at two and a half megawatts per logging truck. That works out to 12 and a half gigawatts of power. A gigawatt is a thousand megawatts. 12 and a half gigawatts. Site C Dam has a capacity of 1.1 gigawatts of power which means if all those logging trucks plug into that grid at the same time, multiple times per day, that power demand is going to need to, to provide 12 gigawatts of power. And the Site C Dam, which has been 15 years in construction and is going to flood over, I think it's what, 6,000 acres of land is getting flooded. Farmland. Farmland, First Nations land, hunting, like... This is land that's just going to be gone forever. And that is going to provide 1.1 gigawatts of capacity when just logging trucks in electrification require 12 gigawatts. We would need 10 more Site C dams in BC, another 50,000, 60,000 acres of First Nations, farmland, traditional land being flooded just to meet the power demands of logging truck, which is a niche industry. Now, if you compare this overall in North America, what's that going to do? It's solar. We're not going to get there with solar and battery storage. Now we're mining more batteries. The solar, we could get there, but the amount of time it takes to install that is going to be decades. Now, I'm not kidding you. It will be decades to install that capacity of renewable energy. What people are going to do is put in natural gas peaker plants they're going to bring back the coal-fired plants, which China was doing, to meet that power demand. And we're still going to be burning that in power plants. So I say that the best way to do it right now is to lower our diesel consumption. As we're bringing those renewables online, we're building up our grid infrastructure. That's how we transition sustainably over the next 10 to 20 years to meet those 20, 30 2040 emission reduction guidelines. Electric sounds great, but there's a lot more that comes to it that people don't realize. Those external forces, external problems are they're real and and this is the the proper way to do it. It's, you got to do it gradually. You cannot just say we need practical to... solutions. We need practical solutions that we can implement now. We need to get the technicians that can service some. We need to be able to integrate it we need to transition and i would love it there is nothing stopping the edison truck we can make a fully 100 percent electric truck if our customer wants it we'll take out that generator and under the hood we will add additional battery packs but you then need to think about your charging infrastructure your range limitations and it's just going to get more expensive with more batteries getting replaced more mining and there's a decision we have to make collectively do we want to have a lot more mining a lot more dams. Do we need, are we going to spend trillions overnight to revitalize and change out our entire electrical grid? Which we should. We haven't been funding it the way we should over the last 40, 50 years and we're paying the price now. But we got to do this and we got to do this in a reasonable way. And that's why I'm saying that the diesel electric with that 50, 75% reduction in fuel savings, burning cleaner as a generator, mining less is a very practical approach to meet our emissions goals.